Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with solving a system of equations by graphing. So let's graph these two lines. So I'm going to start with y equals negative 2, which is right here, y equals negative 2, x equals 4, which is right here, vertical line. And where do they come together? Well, they come together right here at 4, negative 2. How do I know it's 4, negative 2? Well, I go over 4 and down 2. Start at the origin, over 4, down 2. Good. Another one. y equals 2. It's right there. x equals negative 5. That's not negative 5. There's negative 5. And where do they come together? Well, they come together right here. And where is that at? That's at negative 5, comma, Two. Ah, now we're getting into slope intercept form. So let's start with this one. This one starts at negative four and goes down two over one. The purple one, it might seem a little bit confusing, so let me give you some clarity. So the equation is y equals x plus 5. Well, that's y equals 1 over 1x plus 5. Here is the intercept, and here's the rise and the run. So I'm going to start at 5, and then go up 1 over 1. There it is. And it looks like everything is coming together right here at negative 3, comma 2. Negative 3, comma 2. Perfect. Another one. Let's start with this orange one, and I'm going to give you a little bit of clarity on that so you can really see this equation. It's y equals negative 1 over 1x minus 7. That's the orange one. I've really shown that slope. So I'm going to start at negative 7 and go down 1 over 1. This one, the blue line, it's y equals 1 over 1x minus 1. So I start at negative 1. I'm going to go down 1, excuse me, up 1 over 1. It's a positive line. And they're coming together right here at negative 3. Go over 3, down 4. So negative 3, negative 4. Yeah, right. So I'm going to start at 3. I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Blue, I'm going to start at 6. And I'm going to go up 1 over 1 because the slope is 1 over 1. This is coming together at negative 1, comma 5. Negative 1, comma 5. And yes, my lights just went off. Hey, Joshua, can you run over here and get the lights to turn back on, please? Keep coming this way. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, I don't know, go stand over there and wave your hands around. There it is. Perfect. Thank you. So if I start at negative 2 and I go up 2 over 1, there's my first line. This one starts at negative 5 and goes up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. It looks like those guys are coming together not where I had intended. And why is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this again. Where's my error? It's right there. I went up 3 over 1. It should be up back. Up 
2 over 1. There we go. And this guy starts at 5. Oh my goodness. Try this again. Starts at negative 5 and goes up 5 over 1. There it is. And that's occurring at 1, 0. 1, 0. This one, oh, it's in a different form. All right, and I just drew a happy face. So it's in a different form. It's in x minus y equals 2. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do move the x, divide by the y. It's not hard, so give it a try. Slope intercept, you will spy. If you move the x and divide by the y, there it is. That's the graph. That's the, the equation. So I'm going to start at negative 2 and go up 1 over 1. And this is x equals 5, which is right here. And it comes together at 5, 3. 5, 3. Both of these are already in slope-intercept form. That's nice. So I'm going to start at 4, go down 6 over 1, switch equations, start at 2, go down 4 over 1. It's coming together at 1, comma, negative 2. Let's see the top one. This blue one is in the wrong form. So let's manipulate it. And actually, was that the exact same equation? So x minus y equals negative 2. Move the x. So negative y equals negative x minus 2. Divide by the y. So y equals 1 over 1 x plus 2. And the purple one is already in slope intercept so it starts at 4 and goes down 1 over 1 there's my solution right here at 1 comma 3 yeah let's see what's my smart score I feel like I'm above 70 I'm above 70 oh, I'm just at 70 okay let's do one last one so X plus y equals negative 2 move the x, y equals negative x minus 2, divide by the y, there's nothing to divide by, so let's just leave this as y equals negative 1 over 1, x minus 2. So we'll start at negative 2, and go down 1 over 1, and we'll do y equals negative 5, and that comes together at 3, negative 5. Perfect. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your homework.